Welcome to another episode on the Thirsty, Thirsty Sisters, Sisters TTS. TTS. I'm Sylvia, your favorite Thirsty Sisters because I'm open and vulnerable and I answer anything that y'all want me to answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody, my, my name is Nina and our producer Winston's friend said that I'm very chill. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I think you win the introduction of the day. Ha yo ha. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, I need to try better next yes, week. Next week try Damn. harder. Ah, okay. Can somebody please DM me and say I'm chill too? <laughs> it might help my introduction next week. Anyway, today's ASMR sound of the day is something that I bought uh, yesterday. She bought on discount, not just bought. She bought on discount <laughs> because I saw it on discount, so I bought. Yes. Right. So see if you can guess what is it, Nina? Go. I have to say, uh, famous Amos cookies oh, sounds very crispy. Like. It sounds a bit hard for yours. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like trying to get what you mean by crispy. So we have swallowed our cookies. Mm. And today's topic of the day, Nina, it's very exciting. Tell us a little bit more about it. Well, so today we are going to find out something about ourselves that is beyond 36 questions. Yeah, okay, It's going to be more in-depth. Yes, it's not just in-depth. Mm. It has a touch of spirituality. <gasps> it's a touch of, um, you know, divine... Uh, Intervention. <laughs> Yes. And it is something that's increasingly popular these days in Singapore because everybody and their grandmother has done tarot reading. Yes. Also mm. known as our TTS live stream carrot cake reading. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Mm. Okay, Nina, have you done any tarot readings in your life? I will not consider anything I've done the tarot card reading. Okay. Yeah, so no, I, I haven't had any readings done yeah, relating to this, except for the parts that we went. Yeah, right. that, that's about it. Yeah. Okay, so for me, apart from looking at horoscopes, mm-hmm. which my best friend Kitten likes to send me, right, like, hey, Silver is your Capricorn um, horoscope for the month, and I was like, I didn't ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks <laughs> Like it's literally Still in my phone now And she's like You see Yeah right? I know that, You know sometimes When she says like You see Like didn't you read Like during 25th This was supposed to happen to you And I was like Yeah <laughs> But did I read I did not <laughs> So you I can know How much I trust This kind of thing Right It's right. not that I don't trust I fully believe that this kind of uh, divine stuff actually exists mm-hmm. like spiritual stuff mm-hmm. definitely exists mm-hmm. it's just that i never really explored it right and this seems like a very good time to try it out because yep. everyone is you know, you know looking for alternative ways to heal themselves correct yeah. yes and just a disclaimer i will not be doing the tarot card readings today because mm. i'm not ready for it and i feel that i shouldn't be doing it um because I, I want to be part of it, you Yes, know? basically, yeah. not sick and tired of crying. Like, yeah. since last week episode, Just right? Just let me, like, be <laughs> absorbed with, with myself for a while, you know? Don't show me, like, every week I have to face these kind of things. I don't think I can deal with life, eh. <laughs> Yeah, so like I'm going to spare myself from this today and mm. Sylvia is the one that is very enthusiastic about it. She's very open about it. <laughs> yeah, she's welcoming it with uh, open arms. Yes. So today we will be inviting someone yes. to come and do uh, readings for you. So we have one of our um, watchers, right, Geraldine, actually mm. reached out to us and said she wants to help us do tarot card reading. Mm. So I actually don't know what's going on. So mm. later when she comes on set, we are really going to have like first-hand, first-time kind of tarot card reading with all of you guys i hope you're interested and here we have jared in on set Yay. Uh, we asked our tds community if they have any questions to ask a tarot card reader yes and um i, mean, I guess they just want to find out a couple of things from you nina no you can ask the questions okay so first question i have for you Geraldine, mm. is how much do you earn a month <laughs> from tarot card readings um yeah. I mean, I'm just starting to transit doing it full-time. Uh-huh. Um, when I was doing um, it sort of like part-time, mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. range about 1 to 2k. Wow, not wow. bad, not bad. So yeah. I think that's why there's a reason for you to transition, right? Part of it is, um, I mean, I was in production for almost 10 years. Ah. So a bit I'm, tired I'm, la, I'm huh? not getting uh, <laughs> younger, la, you know. Right, right. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, okay, so this is just like your sideline for now, la, but you're transiting into full time. Yeah. Is it because, right, this thing is getting a little more popular with people now? Actually, it's not that. I feel that in the society nowadays, a lot of people feel helpless. Mm. Mm. They feel they they don't have power to make a change Even with their own lives Mm. Mm. And the thing about 
tarot reading is that it doesn't like tell you oh your fortune when you're gonna get rich it's not like that it's empowering you with information mm. to help you to be better to grow or to make better decisions choose a better path even okay okay okay, okay. so I know we're doing it like face to face right mm. but I think one of the questions we have is zoom can do and if zoom do is it accurate Okay, I, I get a lot of that, okay? So, um, the basis of tarot reading is energy, mm-hmm. right? So, energy travels, ma. Mm-hmm. I don't need to see you to have energy, ma. I, it can be on a call, it can be on a Zoom. Mm-hmm. Energy travels, so it's very much like Wi-Fi. I just need to key in the password, I can log into the Wi-Fi already. Wow. Is that? Yeah. So, it's just about tapping into the correct Wi-Fi. Okay, okay. The next question I have before we start is, yes. what mm. would you consider your success rate so far in this path? I, I would never dare to give a number. Mm. It's very simple. It's because things change every day. Mm. Um, people change, people grow. So mm. maybe at this very stage, wow, everything 100%. But what if something happens and you change your decision? Right. Mm. Or like you suddenly one day decide to YOLO and quit your job and travel the world. Yeah. yeah. Then everything will change. Then it right. will not be accurate. So yeah. it's very dependent on your energy now mm. based on, for example, in your heart, uh, like you want to ask a yes or no question, for example. Mm. And in your heart, you already sort of know, mm. right? That would, the tarot card would either give you a confirmation mm-hmm. or would to give you guidance on the direction. Right. So you still can change. It, nothing is ever set in stone. Right. Nothing. Right. You know? Right. So if today, right, uh-huh. she said anything bad about Mandy, then I'll just say, oh, nothing, nothing is set in stone. <laughs> I, I can still change. Yeah, I mean, like, yes, yeah, la, that's yes, true. La. Yes. It's just a guide. You, you don't have to take, take it with a pinch of salt. To a certain extent, that? if yeah. you are willing to take it with an open heart in yeah. that sense, right? Mm. There are some people when we read and we tell them, you know, there are certain things you need to work on. Mm. There, are, there are certain lessons you need to learn and they're in denial and they'll be like, no, le, no, 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 uh. no, don't have, don't have. <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you're watching <laughs> YouTube, yes, I am pointing at Nina Tan. Guys, don't worry, I'm already pointing at her for y'all. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, so before, mm. before we start, right, I just want to mm. ask you uh, quickly, mm. do you have any tips for Sylvia or not? Like, what should she be looking out for? Or like, how should she feel about this? Yeah, actually, yeah. Mm. What, what is the mental prep you tell yes. people before they start a reading? Mm. Just be open to whatever that comes up. Right. Mm. Just be open. She's very open one, don't worry. Yeah, she's an open book anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, the, okay. That's the idea. The, the more open you are, the mm. more you can receive proper guidance. Right. If you're a closed door, there's only so much I can try to help. Nina, I say how many times already? I say the same things how many times to you already? That's why I'm not doing the reading today, right? I know, I, guys, look at her, look at her, you know, like thumbs up, you know, to this woman, you know. <laughs> but anyway, okay, what are you reading for me today then? Okay, so what is uh, one topic that you would really like to know? Ooh, so we've <laughs> talked about it. Mm. And guys, I just want to say anything with Mandy, if she says no, it's still a yes for me. Mm. So let's not waste time here. Mm. Okay, but I think what is interesting would be if we go retrospect a bit, mm-hmm. right? And then we figure things out uh, that has to do with Ryan. Mm-hmm. Well, that would be my ex-husband. Because mm-hmm. I think that is a topic that we do, nobody wants to talk about. Because it's so tough. Yeah. yeah. Right? So I want to see, you know, is the cards able to give me an insight mm. about that that, you know, nobody else has seen. Right. Fun and all, fun and all, fun and all. so sensational. Wow. <laughs> the insight that you want, is it regarding the marriage that you had with Ryan? I think it's more of how to move forward. Yeah. Because I for guess... You. Yes. Yeah. For me, and you know, like, I have a few questions that like... I know what are the questions actually... <laughs> Because Nina came out of it yes. Because it's not her being vulnerable So she can ask Correct Yeah, yeah. So okay what, what was the first step like So I want you to Close your eyes mm-hmm. Okay Just take A few deep breaths in mm. Okay And then you pick one card out for me You're supposed to close your eyes Oh Yeah <laughs> Okay mm. Mm. Okay okay um, Wow this is so exciting Okay I'm gonna pick this one Okay Okay, Ooh. then pick me the wow. Pick me another card. <laughs> she said wow. Eh. Oh my god, she said wow. Eh. <laughs> Later, I will my, my hair stand, guys. My hair really stand. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. This one. Okay. Mm. And then one more. 
Okay, one more, one more, one more. Let's pick the last card. I knew it actually. I knew it. Oh, you can feel it. I also, can is feel. It? I know why. Like that card is calling out to both of us, is it? No, I I decided in my head you're gonna pick that. Okay. All right. Hmm. I'm gonna pick one card for you. Okay. Okay. That would be sort of like the theme of it. Okay. Theme okay. message. Okay. Okay. Chiba. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we shall put this aside first. Mm. Okay, so what we have on the table, if you guys are listening on Spotify, right? We have picked out four cards. Yeah. Okay. And she's laying these My four God, cards. Go colour card coming out now. It's this is an oracle card, so you can pick one. Alright. So I'm gonna pick this one. Okay. So fun. Okay, wow. It's a very good oracle card. That's a very wonderful oracle card. Really? Oh my god, I think it's me and Mandy getting married. Eh? Sorry, that was not the topic of today, is it? Yes, no, we're talking about your previous marriage, Sorry. your current love life. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the cards here so yes, all dear. of y'all can see. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the first card that you pick mm. represents the past. Mm. Okay. The second card you pick represents the present. Mm. And the third card you pick represents the future. <gasps> okay. Mm. So the card I picked for you just now, it's a theme card. Mm. Almost like a theme message okay. for this reading. Mm. And this is the oracle card. Okay. Okay. So the first card that you got that represents the past is Seven of Water. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so mm -hmm. in tarot, mm. water means emotions. Oh. Okay, water, in, in your case, it means emotions. Because water can also mean creativity. Right. But it depends, once again, it depends on the topic we are talking mm. about. Right. Mm -hmm. And seven of water, when it's in the past um, position, what it's mm. saying is that there's this very complex decision that you have to make for yourself, for the well-being of yourself, wow. and for for the people around you. Ooh. But okay. why is it a complex decision? Because once again, it concerns the heart. And the mm. thing about the heart is that as it goes further, people become like family. Mm. And you can't possibly just break away from family. It's mm. not that easy. You know, mm. it's not like when you're dating a person, break up means break up, bye-bye. You know, I ghost mm. you and mm. that's it, right? Mm. But when it comes to marriage, mm. why the decision is so complex is because both of you have a lot of shared memories. Right. Both of you have a lot of shared experiences and even shared dreams. Mm. A lot of your lives, your decisions, the things that mm. both of y'all are, are intertwined. Right, that's what a seven means. Uh, that there's all together ten uh, numbers. Parts. Yes, one to ten, mm -hmm. and then there is the uh, knight. There's the page, and there is the queen and the king. Okay, right. So seven is just one of the cards. So when you look at the suit of water, mm. it's like a lesson path, oh. right? So one all the way to king. So when you reach the king card, right? Mm. If it's an upright king card, usually it means that emotionally you are a very balanced person. Right. So these are like levels. So technically like this is like level seven. Right. That means, right? It's not that bad lah. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> right. It's not that bad. Because everybody have to pass through a stage whereby decisions are not easy to make. Right. Mm. And from the past card, be it whether I've known uh, your story between you and Ryan or not, mm. from the card is really stating that it's not easy. Right. And it was a decision that you procrastinated for a long while. Oh. It wasn't a, I suddenly feel like doing it kind of thing. Mm. It's right. not so easy. If let's say today I pick one of water, it's a mm. simple decision. One of water usually means new beginning. So it's almost like a new relationship kind of thing. Oh. Or like um, you might meet this uh, new love of your life. Right. Wow. So actually the number, right? It's not just difficulty. It also means different, different things, right? So it's quite specific to the cards, right? To a certain extent, yes. Ah. To a certain extent. And when it's about different topics, mm. it's, it also means different things. Ah. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so the present card is mm -hmm. Nine of Earth. Okay. okay, so what is Earth about in tarot? Earth is actually about very practical matters. So money, job, you know, yeah. the day-to-day, -day, very practical um, things. So Nine of Earth is actually saying, you are on the right path of moving on. <laughs> wow, my hair, my hair keeps standing. Eh. Yeah, uh, yeah look, like, like, guys, I, I swear this is not like, us being paranoid but like when she picks the cards and when she talks like you can feel like some sort of energy in the room so i'm not sure like 
Maybe it's the air con cold, right? But ooh, okay, okay. Let's continue. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Based on your past card, you've made this very difficult decision. Mm-mm. You went through a lot of thinking, and now at this very present stage, yes, you still have work to do because it's nine of earth. It's not the king card yet, mm. right? But for nine of earth, it means that you are starting to re enjoy life again. Ah. You are starting to re enjoy lives like you know the little wins every day, the little things every day. There was a point in your life that you stopped seeing those things. Oh. So now you are at the night of Earth stage. You are getting it back. Learning to wow. enjoy, like even sunrise, just as cliche as that sounds, just the small things. Right. You learn to go back to the basics of yourself. What is it that you like? Oh. No longer about how you should compromise, mm. but more about yourself now. That, that empowerment for yourself. So this is a very good stage for you. Ooh, that's great. That's a very good stage. That's all I need to know, actually. Yes. The yeah. next one is making me worry a little bit because the I? number is very small. <laughs> Why is the number? I cannot even see. It's two, two. Oh, two four. people. <laughs> Mandy and Sylvia. <laughs> no, just stop it. <laughs> okay, so now Geraldine is going to the future card, right? Yes. Okay, so the future card is two of air. Yes. Two of air is a card, um, air, right? It's about thoughts, it's about ideas, it's about intellect, it's about decisions okay. that requires your, your thinking, your mm-hmm. mind. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's not, not your heart really. You know, water is heart. Mm. You know, emotions. This mm. is practical matters. Mm. So two of air, right, is saying that... I'm a dumb bitch. <laughs> is what I'm saying? No, <laughs> like two of air of like is... is at two. two of air is saying that in the near future, right, <laughs> there will be another decision you need to make. Oh. With, with her ex-husband ah? With moving on okay. It seems like near future There is another decision That you have to make And then When that time comes right You will not want to make that decision <gasps> You would so? You would want to Almost be in denial And pretending that You don't need to make that decision hmm. There will be a decision coming In the near future So roughly Say Six months down the road Oh, so, so fast ah. Uh. Wait, what's an intellectual decision? It will be things like assets. Mm-hmm. It will be things like um, certain business plan. Because a lot of your lives are intertwined. Right. It will be that. Wow. Yeah. But that is vital for you to move on. Mm. So this card is coming up. It's telling you that there's this possibility that you will not be as objective as you want. That's why you find it difficult to make that decision. Right. That's why you are sort of pretending that, you know, never mind lah, we don't need to decide on this, you know. But it will come. Mm. Uh-huh. And it will come that it will, you will have to face it. Right. So it's telling me that, you know, perhaps I might be in denial of some decision. It's telling me to just face it. Yes. And for the future, as I say, it's roughly about six months down the road. Very, very interesting. Okay. But it's vital for you to go through that to move on. Okay. Okay. Because the next card that you get is a very good card. Oh, is it? Yes. The theme card, right? Does it come with like five babies and like... Uh, <laughs> it's talking about falling in love or wedding preparations. Uh. Oh, bitch! Oh my sorry, God. sorry to interrupt. <laughs> sorry to interrupt. <laughs> I am sorry that I'm such a dumb bitch who keeps interrupting. <laughs> Welcome, people. Do tarot card reading. How can I interrupting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, yes, babe, okay. go for it. Okay, so two of air. Okay, mm. so this is a reminder for you that yes. when the time comes, oh. try to be as objective as you can yeah. and make that decision. Don't don't deny that, mm. that there's a problem there that needs to be solved. Mm. Okay? She's interested in the next card, like she don't care about the two of air already. <laughs> I can tell one. Mm. <laughs> so the theme card, yes. you know, for your reading yes. it's the night of water. Mm. Remember I say water is about emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the theme of Night of Water is actually about falling in love. It's about, Whoa. you know, even wedding bells <laughs> kind of thing. If that, that is already in your plan. If not, it's about... Night is, you know, this emotional, romantic person. Whoa. You know, that... Um, yeah, it's really about you m- meeting or having that somebody that you are going to move on 
from this first phase of your life to the mix. Mm. See, I already told you that Mandy is really great. Then you always say he's not handsome, lah. You asking uh, me uh, for my opinion? <laughs> I'm telling you my opinion. <laughs> okay, okay. God, what is this about me now? The <laughs> night of water is not about looks, and night of water is about <laughs> character. <laughs> because right. Day and night she keep telling me he's very handsome and I cannot agree with that because it's not my type. <laughs> and then she yeah. just said, but it's not about the looks, this is about guy. it's about character. Uh, that's why I say it doesn't matter what I think, Sylvia. <laughs> Goodness. He has good character. <laughs> <laughs> that's more important than anything <sighs> else. <laughs> This is all she's gonna take away uh, from this tarot card reading. I tell you all first. Yeah, she's just gonna repeat to me and say, Hey, Jai, I didn't say you got good <laughs> This is the death of me, okay? Okay, 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 yes. Yeah, he is somebody that will work on the emotional side of things. Huh. That's usually good in a guy, la, okay. you know, because most guys usually don't. Uh. But hmm. the thing about knight, mm. knight is not yet a king. Mm. Remember I say king is when everything balanced, yes. got everything together? A knight is still young in that perspective. So mm. it means that a knight still have a lot to learn about ah. balance, about priorities. The question you need to ask yourself would be, are you willing to grow together? Ah. You know, as a couple. Her because that's yes. a lot of <laughs> <laughs> they, I am trying to be like, act a bit like not so enthusiastic. No, but her answer is yes. <laughs> Thanks, Nate. Yeah. So, for this particular reading, remember it's about you moving on? Yes, dear. Okay. So your oracle card is actually a card called Spring. Yes. Okay, so what it says, right, literally on the card is, your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. <gasps> okay, so <laughs> what it's, you know, spring in Singapore, Chun Jie is like end gen, February, Chinese New Year period, right? Yeah. So what is this card trying to signify? It's near that period, you would finally be able to fully step out of it. Oh. But once again, there's right. a decision you need to make. If you... Um, choose to be in denial, don't want to solve it, then this spring will not come. Oh. It's your decision. It's really to tell you that if you let go, work on it, make mm. the tough decisions that you need to make, no matter how difficult it is, right? Mm. What you desire, the fact of moving on, will come. Ah. But you must put in the work. Right. Okay, so how would you rate this kind of reading? What do you mean rate? Like, is this on like the brighter side of life? Is it on the more negative side of life? Or no, is this like, is, this is average? This is actually you know, really like, good in that sense oh, that... Like Shang Shang Qian vibes. Uh, <laughs> I would say Shang Shang la. I would say... Context. I would say Shang Qian. Ah. So, things are good, but doesn't mean that you don't need to work for it. Right, right. You get what I mean? Right, things, yeah. things are good. Mm, but yeah. if you don't work for it, then your problem la. You get yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Right. No, but you know what I really like? Is that although she's a tarot card reader, she totally got me when I said Shang Chen. <laughs> she even <laughs> classified this as a Shang Chen. <laughs> so this is what happens when you get a Singaporean tarot card yes. reader. They can bring the context to you. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, Anytime. Yeah. Right. Okay, but yeah, okay. so generally it's actually a good reading. But All right. um there's no like major, major lessons you need to learn mm, here. Okay. Mm. Okay. Major lessons is what in tarot we call the major arcana cards. So it's major lessons cuts. Mm. Oh. You don't have any. You have small lessons you need to learn. Oh. But besides that, you are on a relatively right path of mm. moving on, of good. doing good by yourself. Oh. Taking care of yourself in that sense. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nina, have you, uh, are you shocked by this set of uh, answers? Is it like in line with what you think I'm going to get? Okay, so I think there are things that I agree with and mm. there are things that I... I, based on what I know, I don't uh, agree with, but that doesn't necessarily mean that. Why you laugh? <laughs> no, she said Night of Water. The character is good. Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, that's the part that I don't agree with. If I can be honest, uh, okay, because, right, he's not romantic. He's very dismissive, like me. And in fact, he's quite handsome. <laughs> I knew that was gonna come out la, okay? Goodness, why did I even go through this? Sorry, darling. But that doesn't mean yes. that he's not gonna be a person like this. So I agree with her mm. that, you know, he needs to grow mm. because I do see it growing in case y'all didn't know, he just said he loved her like a few days back. <laughs> and I haven't been seeing the light of the day ever since. La. Yeah. That so yeah, so I think it's progressively mm. 
in this um, stage la. So we're entering the second question And I know Geraldine You do another kind of reading Where You know Nina can actually ask a question On my behalf Can yes With your approval Yes Oh, So mm. I think Nina has a question She okay. wants to ask And I heard from you earlier So like mm. If she's asking She can pick I can pick Or even you can pick the mm. cards Right mm. So let's try you Picking the cards To her question Sure yeah. But before that Just for the sake uh, <laughs> you approve of me asking the question first or not? Yeah. I will always approve of Nina asking anything she wants to ask about my life. Okay, very good. Yeah. Is okay. it a bad question? Is that why you are suddenly asking for we approval? You don't ask me for approval. Because we established that first because my next question is actually quite um, something that I also want to know like, in mm. some ways and it's quite intense one. It's, oh, it's yeah. different for different tarot readers. Some mm. some tarot readers don't need a, like permission and all. Mm, yeah. I, I choose to do that. Consent, because, good girl. Yes. yes. Correct. Yes. <laughs> if not, what's the point of free will? Yes. yes. You cannot make your own decisions. Yeah, right? we are women of free will. Oh yeah. my god. Mm, totally. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, so I consent and okay, mm. oh my god. I'm quite scared to hear a question. What is it? Okay, Nina, go. Okay, you hold the, the box first. Yeah. Oh, okay, wow, so my question is right. So you know her ex-husband is my cousin. Mm. Okay, I want to know, right, how he feels about her currently. Like, is he, um, how, what is his sentiments towards her right now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, ah. Are you shocked that I asked that question? You can put your hand down already. I, 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 this is actually a tough one. Okay, so oh. it's for <gasps> water. Oh, oh water! So you are literally card. yeah. I pick one card because it will answer your question, ma. <gasps> it's a right? water again, and it's four there. Eh? It's emotions. So four mm. of water is always a card that feels like discontentment, missed opportunity. So mm. you're asking about her, his sentiment towards her right yeah. now. Yeah. Is he kind of feels like there was a missed opportunity? He didn't <laughs> grab it enough. <laughs> he didn't um. Wow. He this didn't my hand very cold. Maybe now, at eh. that point in time he didn't open his eyes up to other things that can be done. To, to to work work on it. It. It's just that you never <laughs> Eh, walao! I want to listen. Yeah. This is so scary because I'm like looking at a card right in front of mm. me and then it gives a little bit of detail on the card itself, right? It says missing an opportunity, discontentment. Mm. My god. Yeah. So he you know his sentiment towards now it's emotionally, yes. Leave you no know, parting might be a good thing, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't feel like he didn't maybe put in enough. Wow. There's a certain feeling like maybe at that point in time couldn't see and now he sees. You know why not? It made me feel like right, we should invite Ryan here <laughs> <laughs> to like really ver like verify whether this is true or not. Huh? Yeah. But I know Ryan really doesn't like this kind of tarot card reading. Yeah, he, mm, mm. you know he's generally like not this kind, but wow, this is quite a scary card that you picked up. Why is it scary? It's how not... you feel about it? Yeah. I mean, I'll feel terrible, you know? Like, if, if you, I don't know, if you pick out something that's just spring and it says, like, he's happy with me, uh, you know, the way things are, he's happy with me moving on, you know, he's happy. No, full of water doesn't mean that he's not happy that you're moving on. Okay. It's just that when a relationship ends, then you see that shit. Maybe yeah. I should have done something. So it's just how he feels about the situation. Yes. Yeah. It's not that he's not. Happy, happy for you right. It's okay. just that he feels that Maybe he could have done a bit more Okay then I, I want to ask one more question first Sure So speaking about being happy right Is he happy with her now? Yes He is it, The card that you got is king of earth It means successful time You know it means a happy Happy practical You know it means good things Right 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 Good practical it's a so king It's yes. a king oh. Our first king yeah. So he is actually happy with How far you have come oh. For yourself Okay But that doesn't mean that he Don't feel anything right. Yes he is happy But You know There's this feeling Within him that Once again as I said With the fall of water cut That maybe he could Have done something So else. it's like an unresolved Kind of emotions is it it's, I, I would never call it unresolved I would call it like I would call it lessons lor. Okay Every okay. relationship teach you something ma. Be it you give too much or you give too little or You are, you know, it always teaches you something So it is his lesson to learn mm. But he is happy for you mm. right, And he couldn't be happier right Because this is a king of earth <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just want to make things clear Okay, king of <laughs> earth is Once again, is practical cut, right? Okay. Mm. So it really means that he's happy that You have come to this stage of your life Stable, mm. you know <sighs> Logical, practical. Mm. It's not the emotional aspect, but the 
you know, practical day-to-day -day life aspect. He's happy that you managed to move. Wow. He's very happy for you. Okay. Hey, this is very good, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm also very happy that hey, this I'm quite picked. You are right. Happy. Yeah. It's quite exciting, eh. He's happy. Yeah. Oh. Do you have any more questions, Nina? Okay, um... <laughs> I do, I do have another question. Okay. Okay, so... Maybe the last question, lah, right? Okay. okay, so the last question will be So, you know, Mandy always uh, wants Sylvia to exercise and lose weight, lah. Yeah. So, I want to know whether he really has an issue with her body, like her body size or not. Uh, well. What? She's scared already. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy, I'm telling you, hello. <laughs> no, I want to hear what she says first. Okay, yeah, okay. let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. Yeah. Um,. Sometimes when people want you to lose weight, <laughs> she's you have to, putting it very nicely. I know you yeah. have to question: Is it for health purpose or aesthetic purposes? Mm, mm, uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm saying here. Okay, so you, uh, yeah. So if it's health, eh? uh, this is literally asking you to question oh, the purpose. Question the purpose. Wow, it's literally the five of air, right? It's mm. conflict in the mind. Whenever there's a conflict of the mind like that. I kind of feel like you somehow know the answer to it already. Wow. Wow, this one, I don't know. I, I feel like, I'll be fair, okay, for this one, right, it's also something that I've been questioning for the longest time also. Yeah, so with this card, I don't have an answer to it yet. Mm. Yeah, so maybe you go and find out that. Usually the for five of uh, mm. yeah, it's really asking you to be on the side of caution. Hey, yeah. I, I'm quite... Intrigued by all these cards that she's pulling out. Mm -hmm. So yes. Nina, how do you feel about these three cards she pulled out to your three different questions about me? I'm very happy with the cards that uh, were chosen because I feel that it gives a bit of a toshi, you know, like a little entry to certain things that mm. probably I also want to know so that mm. I can help you when, you know, sometimes when you tell me certain things. Okay, so we're entering the last part, right? Since we're on these yes, no questions, mm. right? Mm. Since um, y'all asked me certain questions, which means you have given me consent correct. to ask the questions. Yes, correct. The, yes. <laughs> right? I'm going to be asking three of uh, the questions for the TDS community, okay? Mm. Mm. These are not very serious, so big. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you don't gotta worry. Yeah. Okay, so I think one of the questions is Will COVID 19 end this year in 2021? Hmm, this is a very tricky, um, tricky question to, to, to answer. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. Uh, no. Right. <laughs> huh? Okay. No it's not gonna end, but. It's uh, you see, uh, even the card is saying a temporary standstill. Okay, so right, we right. pick out awakening Archangel yeah. Gabriel. Okay, so this is what I call a major arcana card. Oh, so this is a major lesson card. Okay, wow. so what it means is that a, a lot of times we see um, say bad things as bad, but we don't see what we can learn from it. Right. So a major arcana card being here, especially the awakening card, telling you. Um, there's this awakening There's this learning To see things From different perspectives mm. I mean in society now Due to COVID More and more Issues are coming up That makes people Realise that Hey we We need to make a change And this is what This season is for So this season Will not end yet Right And also this is really interesting Because mm. this card says You know Different perspective Yes So to answer the Viewer's mm. question Will mm. COVID-19 And I guess it's a matter Of perspective mm. And whether you are learning new things in this season or not. Correct. Mm. <gasps> the thing about major arcana cards is, is this. If you don't learn, mm. this card will just keep coming back. Right. I feel like I'm very thankful I did not get any major arcana cards in my life. Mm. But now mm. that we mentioned a serious topic, it comes up. So like, mm. the mm. next question from the TTS community, and I hope you do not pull out a major arcana card because I will faint. <laughs> <laughs> will the Thirsty Sisters be able to make any impact? Mm. While we are around mm. Oh my god Later she pulled out Some that says uh, no. Oh yes Actually huh? Is it another good. major It's another major <gasps> Can I What <gasps> ah! 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 <laughs> But it's the cut of balance So remember you say Will the Thirsty Sisters Make any impact Yes your impact is balance <gasps> You're bringing this Balance for people You know Different perspective from people This honesty That you're giving you're creating this space of helping people to learn, see things differently. What does, what is the bottom word? 
the quote of the card. It's so the, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. How should I say? There's a lot of other content in the internet that's very flowered up, made up, you know. Mm. Everything look pretty in that, in that perspective. But the balance you're bringing in is your honesty. Oh, wow. wow. What a tone, but yes. I, I, I'm, I'm quite terrified because like, for these kind of generic TTS community questions, we're getting a lot of arcana. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's called arcana cards. Yes, right? major arcanas. Right? Yeah. So like, it terrifies me and I am scared now because the, for the very last and the most intense and the best question, if she don't pull out an arcana card, I'm going to be personally offended. <laughs> Because the last question is so intense. <laughs> like it's the most important question actually of this entire podcast. I'm very scared now, Nina. What if she pulls out something that says like no or nah or like meh? Well, you know, I, I'm always the dismissive one and you know, but now I'm, I'm telling hopeful. you, I'm hopeful. Okay, okay, yeah. we are both very hopeful. Okay, so Sylvia okay. will ask the question. <laughs> Go. Geraldine, okay. the last question we have to ask is, is Nina and Sylvia Chobu as she... <laughs> Wow, this is really a very, very serious question. It huh? is, right? It's the most serious question exactly. in this podcast. Eh? Yeah. You let me focus and ask the Yeah, yeah, you okay. focus, you focus. These are very, very important. Very important. Yeah, you focus. Yes, Jordan, mm. close yeah. your eyes, take a deep breath. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so worried right now. I think I'm, she also worried. I think I'm she also worried. I'm scared. Oh, no. Wow. What is it? Six of fire. What? This oh, is the first fire card that, that you're... Okay, fire. Wow. The mic I dropped. caught it. I caught it. Okay. Oh, so fire is about action, it's about passion, it's about getting things done. So what it's saying is that, you know, six of fire is about good news, about victory. So it's saying that wow, you two are very passionate people. <laughs> we are victoriously triple as G. Yeah. Okay, I can just read out the card, okay? Sure. It says six of fire, victory. Good news is on the way, public recognition or awards. Yeah. Oh, what would oh, that yeah. mean? So, so when you're uh, according awards, to your you know about your question is about yes. you know. I, I, I'll no, be Chobu as yes. that Chobu. <laughs> So, six or five is a good card, so it's a victory, it's a yes, ma. Oh! Right. Then, <laughs> that's what we need to hear. <laughs> no, he's not, we self proclaim anymore, guys, okay? Geraldine say one. Yeah, she say one. The card say one. And the card say one, uh, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, you yes. know, fire wow. is a very passionate We card. are very yeah. passionate, yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Wow, this is the highlight of the whole podcast. See, it's the most important question. Exactly. Yes. Wow. Wow. Okay, yes. so the answer is basically yes. yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you know what? Um, we want to thank you so much, Jeremy, you no know, for coming here. And then you know, I think this has been more fun and exciting than I expected, mm. right? So do you have any things that you want to tell the TDS community? I think um, I really would want the TDS community to understand that tarot reading is not some fortune telling that tell you like the next 50 years of your life mm. kind of thing but mm. it's more on empowering you with information so you can make better decisions for yourself so you can improve your own life in every aspect be it emotional mental or even the practical aspect of the mm. earth mm. It's, it acts as like you know this guide to nudge you whenever necessary that hey, you might be a bit off course, you might not have been taking care of yourself. Mm. You know, it's really how to empower yourself, how to help yourself to be a better version of yourself. Tarot is all about empowering and clarity. Wow. It's never about, you know, this whole fortune-telling thing. I right. truly believe in that. I truly <laughs> believe in that from the last question. <laughs> So, you know, I'm, I'm really considering doing a reading. To me, right, these tarot card readings is actually more like a confrontation of things that you probably don't know mm. or you don't feel and you refuse to feel, but yep. it's like right in your face and yes. they interpret it out for you. Yes. It's very honest. It's like what, you know? <laughs> The Thirsty Sisters are about mm. this conversation. Yes. yes. And mm. finally, yes, thank you so much for doing this for us. And we hope that you will be successfully transitioning to a full day. Thank you. Yes. yes, thank you. Yeah. Bye. And that is it. My first tarot card reading. <sighs> oh my gosh. Uh, Nina, thoughts. What? Thoughts. 
Okay, I think um, just being on the sideline, right? And just yes. being beside you, right? It's actually, I don't know, more intense than what I thought it would be because yeah. it's actually quite in-depth. Eh. Yeah. And there are so many things that relate to what I know your life is about mm-hmm. and how, you know, it links together into one. And of course, the highlight is that we are the Ashley Trouble, <laughs> the one we can't deny. La. Yes. Yeah, correct. Yes. But I want to know, like for you, because you are the one that is relating to, you mm. know, the reading and all that, right? how do you feel about it? Well, I'm actually quite scared. Because you know, right? You know, like I said, I've never really explored. And mm. I really come here just, you know, to have fun, right? Just mm. to have fun. But mm. I would say that, wow, when she picked all those cards, it seems like it really relates mm. to, you know, the situation at hand. That's why I'm a little bit creeped out. Mm, mm, mm. Right? I wouldn't say it's accurate or inaccurate because, you know, I think like Geraldine says, right? This is like just a reading for today, mm. for now, right? Mm. Things will change when you make new decisions and all that. But I guess, like, the last card, for example, right? When they pick yes, <laughs> it immediately <laughs> cemented. <the> la. <laughs> you know, I think one card that really stood out was, you know, when uh, we, you asked that question about Ryan, mm. right? And then she said, like, it was, like, you know, uh, a little bit of, you know, like, missed opportunity, mm. discontentment. Mm. But I'm really, really glad you asked the next one, mm. you know, when is he happy, you know, with mm. how to move on. And, she literally picked a king of earth and I was like, wow, like... It couldn't be any better, right? Yeah, like, thank you, this kind of cards for surfacing because it makes me feel... I think like what she says, it empowers me like, okay, yeah, I think I'm doing the right thing Mm. here. You know, sometimes, you know, all we need is somebody to just tell us, yes, you're doing the right thing here, calm down. Sometimes we go about life and then we don't know, right? And who are we to judge? Sometimes, I think also we judge ourselves very harshly. Mm. Correct. We are our worst critics, but... Correct. So like when these kind of cards come out, you feel like, Oh, okay. Like I have, you know, in a way, have my choices validated, yeah. and in a way, I can feel like okay, reassured by the cards mm. that it's okay. So, do you think that from before you entered the card reading, right, until now, right, anything changed in terms of your mindset? I do. Okay, what changed? So, really, I walked in with zero expectations, but I come out feeling quite good and feeling quite good because. I feel like, like what she said, right? I am more empowered now. I feel mm. better, like, you know, like my decision so far has been right. Mm. And I think when she said that cut about, um, you know, my present, mm. I'm really starting to see, you know, the small things and learning on it. I think for a long time, I'm like, you know, I should be working more. You know, I'm that kind of person. Mm. So when she said, you know, it's okay, you're on a good path because you're learning all these things. I was like, wow, okay, thank, thank you for offering that. Perspective out, right? Correct. Yeah. And even when she mentioned about COVID, right, it's really another perspective. It's it's just somebody who tells you, hey, stop, stop, stop worrying. It's just another perspective. Right. right? right. So I feel like Geraldine and her cards and you know, and all these kind of alternative kind of healing, right? Mm. It's really how you want to interpret it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and during that session, you are able to just get some validation, reassurance, or anything. Right, mm. it can be considered a positive experience already. Yeah, when I see her doing that reading with you, right, it kind of builds confidence in me and curiosity in me that I feel that okay, hey, you know, actually, I might consider doing it uh, in time to come. Would you do yeah. it alone or with a friend? No, I would definitely do it with you. I won't do it with anybody <laughs> else. Yeah, I won't even want to do it alone because I'm scared that if I get too emotional after that, nobody can catch me when I fall, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I need somebody like Sylvia who will catch me when I fall. Yeah. Right. And then answer questions that, you know. And ask questions that probably I never knew I needed to know. Babe, can I just say that? Yes, I think that's what you did for me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, let's be real. I can say I'm damn open. But when you ask that question, like, is Ryan happy with me moving on? Those are questions that I don't even dare to ask. Like, I literally don't dare to even think about it. Mm. Mm. Right? Because it's scary for me to even think about it. All I can say is, how do I do this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that is, that is why I feel yeah. that if I were to do the reading, I want it to be in the same setting. Because yeah. I need to be comfortable. I need to be, like, relaxed to be able to listen Correct. and to receive whatever information yes. I'm getting. Right? Mm. And Correct. also, Geraldine actually mentioned that to all our Thirsty Sisters yes. community. So we're actually doing for fun only. So we mm. just wanted to test out whether she's accurate or what, right? Yeah. But I think just now after the session, we really enjoyed it. Mm. Right? So we actually asked her if, you know, she is able to give our community a little bit of discount. And of course, we know she's a one-man show. She's starting out, you know, transitioning. Yeah. But she's able to give something, Nina. Please share. Yeah, so she was very kind to offer mm. the Thirsty Sisters um, community, mm. right? Uh, a nice, very hot rate of $88. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I think she's only going to open this up for the next two weeks. Correct. So until she's fully booked. Mm. Yeah, so from this here on, this episode release up and the next two weeks, 
that is the, the deadline lah, basically lah. Yeah, Correct. For you all to go and do your tarot card readings. And if you actually do it, please let us know yes. how it went for you. Because Correct. I, I need more information to really ask myself whether <laughs> I want to do it or not. So you guys are my like, you know, the specimen. Right. So I'm yeah. guinea pig number one. She yes. needs four, five, six, seven. No, actually, <laughs> I need about 40 more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so if you guys have done tarot card reading, yeah. tell us, you know. Correct. And you know what? We're even open in the comment section. If it's another tarot card reader that yes. you have gone in Singapore, you know what? Let's try to help all these small, you know, Correct. single freelancers, yeah. right? So if you have and you think that your tarot card reader is also very good, please share. Let me know so that <laughs> I can be the one next to go and do do my readings. Correct. Yeah. Yes, mm. and if you have a small business and you know uh, you're a woman and you own a small business also and you want us to help you shout out in any way, right? All you gotta do uh, is drop us an email at thirsty sisters at nlc right? Correct. We cannot entertain everything, yeah. right? But yeah. if we feel that hey, it's a topic that you know mm. the community is gonna be excited in, we would love to help. Yeah. Right. And I mean, in case you're wondering, this session with Geraldine, right? Like um, she didn't pay us to do any yes. of it. Yeah. Like yeah. we are really just doing it because we want to support all the women uh, freelancers. Yeah, so the plan was initially for me and Sylvia to just do a reading with her, but we thought it would be good to help her also, mm. to bring her onto the podcast. Mm. So I think what we can do also in the comment section in this episode itself, mm. small businesses, you just leave a comment below, you know, then like our Correct. listeners and viewers can just go and scroll through and see. Correct, like, yes. Yeah. Ooh, I think, see, end of the day, whether it was accurate or not, I think like what Geraldine says. Balance! <laughs> yeah! Arcana! Oh, we must balance and Arcana <laughs> Oh, feeling empowered right now. I do, I do feel empowered every time I do Thursday Sisters and I hope mm. you guys do and feel so as well. So remember to watch us on Spotify, remember to watch us on Apple and if you're watching on YouTube, give us a thumbs up and drop us a comment so we know that you're watching. And with that, thank you so much for listening in to Tarot Card Reading with Sylvia and Nina for the Thursday Sisters TTS. <laughs> Oh and my god, I feel like I should not eat this cookie for ASMR on the day because I need to think about the choices, <laughs> whether it's for aesthetics yeah, or health purposes. Correct. So you're you very conflicted, that. right? <laughs> but very conflicted. I shall do it for you. Okay? Yes, because, because you're thin. I'll take <laughs> and hot. <laughs> Winston the friend say so you're pretty like quick. Oh yo, check that. Oh, this is especially for you, Winston's friend. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>